this video we are going to be testing whether the RAM speed actually makes better performance or not. So we are going to try this by enabling and disabling the XMB profile of the RAM. For those who don't know, XMB means extreme memory profile. It increases your RAM speed from the best number to a higher number. It's like overclocking, but it's just an option that says XMB enable it or disable it. So you can enable XMB by going to the BIOS, shut down your PC and open it again and keep hitting delete on your keyboard just keep clicking delete now this is gigabyte bios on your motherboard it may be different in looking but the same setting will be available go to advanced memory setting here you'll find extreme memory profile so this is now it it says 3200 megahertz so this is now xmb enabled we are going to start by disabling the xmb because it's better to see something getting better rather than getting worse so we are going to start by disabling the xmb now the best speed is 2133 megahertz so it's almost about 1000 megahertz difference so let's save save and exit yes what we are going to test in this video is just a few things we're going to test Valorant and Ghost Runner and exporting a project in DaVinci Resolve. And also all the PC specs will be in the comments and in the description. This is the Ryzen 3 3200G. It's this is AMD ABU. So now let's start by Valorant. There will be nothing running in the background, just the MSI Afterburner and the Riva Tuner to measure the FPS. So guys, right now this is the Valorant this match. These are the game settings. 1080p high settings we are getting about 100 we are getting about 110 fps 105 average what we are doing right now is testing the difference between xmb enabled and disabled so it's not about a certain part or something so right now we are getting average 105 106 fps Okay guys, so now for variant with XMB disabled, we are getting about 105 FPS, 105, let's say 100 to make things simple. So guys, right now for Ghost Runner, we are getting about 30 FPS. Thirty-two FPS. Okay, thirty-three, thirty-four FPS, thirty-two. So for Ghost Runner, let's say an average about thirty-five FPS. Now let's try the Venture Resolve project. This is a 7 minutes project, 1080p. So we are going to see how long does it take to export this project right now. Let's add to render queue, replace, render all. Now it says it takes about, about 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 10 minutes. So about 9 and a half minutes to export this project or let's say, let's say 10 minutes. Now let's enable our XMB profile again and let's see how much performance we get. Let's go to BIOS, advanced memory settings. Now we are on 3200 MHz, save and exit, yes. So guys, now we are back to variant and we are getting about 150 FPS average. This is a lot more than we have before. 145 average FPS, 130, 37. 
Tocais na War Room. So guys, now after we enable the XMB profile, we are getting an average about 132 FPS. It increases to 140, but let's say 135. And this is about 30% increasement in performance just by enabling the XMB. Yes, the memory speed increases the performance, but maybe this is just for AMD CPUs and this is because this is an APU. So guys, now back to Ghost Runner. We are getting now an average of 37 FPS. 36 FPS 2 so guys right now on ghost runner who are getting about average 40 fps before we had 35 you may say that the increasement is just a 5 fps but in this type of game you can say it's a triple a game so just from 35 to 40 fps we are getting about 20 percent increasement in performance 20 percent and these 5 FPS are not low and even it's getting right now 43, maybe 45 at some places but let's just say 40 now let's go to DaVinci Resolve so now let's export the same project again the same settings, add to render, replace, render all at first it was saying 10 minutes so it has improved from 10 minutes to let's say 9 minutes almost 9 minutes so just 1 minute increasement about 10% increasement in performance it's not that big difference in DaVinci Resolve this is just the export maybe while running and while editing the process of editing itself is much better the process of editing itself will give you much better performance but just in exporting it gives you about 10% in Valorant we got about 30% Ghost Runner 20% and in DaVinci export in just exporting we got about 10% increasement so the conclusion for this is increasing your RAM speed makes you get a better performance in esports games like Valorant or something maybe it's a little different like in exporting but overall getting a higher RAM speed will make you get better performance you'll get a better performance to a certain cap because the game performance depends mostly on your GPU getting faster RAMs will give you better performance but don't spend so much money on your RAM so don't buy a 5000 or 4000 megahertz ram just buy any 3000 megahertz ram and you will be fine without any problems you can even do some overclocking because ram overclocking is much easier than cpu so guys that's it for today's video i hope you find it helpful please like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time